Hello guys, welcome back to the Week and Sugar. This week I'm going to show you how to make this very simple but deliciously good butterscotch sticks. It's a very simple recipe with very simple ingredients and I'm sure this is one of those foolproof recipes that you're going to love. Um, I lost some footage here so let me just fast forward a bit. Basically, we're going to sift in our all-purpose flour, then add in 2 cups of brown sugar, and then um, 2 teaspoons of baking powder, and then a half teaspoon of salt. Mix it all together, and since I'm using a small bowl, I'm just going to transfer it to a bigger bowl. And then, we're going to pour in our melted butter to um, our dry ingredients. Mix it a little bit, then we're going to add in our eggs. Once both eggs are in, add a dash of vanilla and mix all of them together. Do not over mix guys, just mix until no specks of flour can be seen. Once that's done, the last ingredient is to add our nuts. I used um, some cashew nuts because they just go perfectly with butterscotch. So we're going to line our 9 by 13 inch pan, line it up with parchment paper and pour it in and level out our butter into it. We are going to pop our, our butter our butter scotch at 300 degrees Fahrenheit for about 30 minutes or more depending on your oven. And once that's done, cool it completely. That's very important. Cool it completely so that we can cut it really nicely without further breaking our butter scotch. So this is how I'm cutting it since I want this to be in sticks form. First I'm going to cut it in the middle so that I can have equal um, sizes for each stick then I'm gonna cut it lengthwise and it really depends how you want to cut it but this is how I'm doing it I find it that it's a perfect bite size piece and um, it just looks better guys so this is how it looks but right now it's still a bit too soft because the bottom of the butter scotch sticks um, were not cooked well so we're gonna twice bake it. So put it in a non-stick pan, bottom, the bottom side up, and we're gonna bake this again at the oven for 10 minutes at 400 degrees Fahrenheit so that we can achieve that sturdy um, butterscotch, much like a biscotto. Again, after baking it for 10 minutes at 400 degrees Fahrenheit, we are going to let it cool completely. Again, very important because we don't want it to break. Once it's cooled completely, you will find that your your butterscotch stick is now sturdy. They can hold up on its own and more delicious, basically. If you want to get and make this, you can get the full recipe at the weekendsugar.wordpress.com. Links down below. Please support my page by subscribing and liking this video. And I'll see you next weekend. Bye!